Good morning, people of Earth. It is coffee and donut day. It is Saturday. Let's get into it. So yes, it is Saturday, and my office is a disaster from all the units I've been buying. I have got to straighten up today. There is stuff everywhere. And actually a lot of the new stuff like that uh, Beetle, 49 Beetle, we sold. And a few other things that we just got, we sold. So let's get to it. And good Sunday morning to you people of Earth. Uh, I'm going to go over a few things that we sold in the past few days. I'm not going through everything. I'll just pick out a couple of from each store. Um, we sold a pair of binoculars for $35. We sold two leather bound um, journals for $35. We sold a Street Outlaws um, autograph Summit Racing hat. It was autographed by two people from the show. Sold that for $44. And we sold a pair of Heritage American Denim uh, shorts for $48.75. That was out of the main store. And let's go over to the toy store. The toy store we sold. Uh, World of Warcraft Shadow Puppet that lights up. So a pretty big uh, plushie. Out of this past unit, we sold a uh, orange buggy body part for uh, slot cars. We sold a DC Comics Supergirl Gets Married comic. I think it's from the 70s. And we sold an Invincible Adam and Eve Skybound exclusive figure. I think we might have sold a couple other things over here. Let me check just to make sure I am not off here. Oh, we did sell the Michael Myers Halloween figure. Somebody bought it before, and then they backed out of the deal. So I relisted it, and I sold it again for actually a little bit more. We sold that for 100 bucks. And one more thing out of the store we sold was that, I mentioned this earlier, was that, um, that Radio Shack Beetle. 49 remote control vehicle from the 1987. We sold that for $76. I hopefully remembered to put all the pictures in. So that's it for that. And I'm going to show you a few things that we got the other day. Um, two Skybound boxes that they had and we got this cool it's like a G.I. Joe Walking Dead figure of Beta which is actually the bloody version they have blood all over them they have a regular one with no blood on them that's pretty cool I think that we got two of them one of them's going into my collection the Walking Dead comic book black and white version it's the 15th anniversary a lot of little card decks and little keychains and Negan's bat as a pen hardcover outcast these little Negan uh, figures here unfortunately usually when you get these boxes you get two different Great comic books, but we got two of the same, which kind of sucks, but 
I could sell both of them. I mean, somebody has them up for 60 and then somebody else has them up for 200 and something. This is a Carhartt jacket that we got out of the storage unit the other day. Let me flip it over. It's kind of cool looking. People like buying advertisement, even if it's on clothing. Okay, and B went out thrifting the other day and he picked up these shirts. Rage Against. This was probably his biggest find right here. Teddy Bruschi stitched football jersey. We looked these up and there's some of them are going for like $400 for some reason. We're not sure why yet. But it's pretty. Uh, it's a pretty nice shirt. It's clean. But this is for the VIP section at uh, UConn basketball. I don't think the shirt's even been worn. Usain Bolt. Never seen these shirts before. This is the last Super Bowl Tom Brady won. And as a Patriot, I should say. You have to say that now. Uh, this is a UMass basketball warm-up shirt. It was for number 10, whoever that is. And last but not least is this Nike polo. I'm thinking it's the Phoenix Suns, the purple and orange, but I'm not sure. So, that is everything we found over the weekend, thrifting and through the boxes we got. I, uh, there is one more thing. He found this. Snap into a Slim Jim. It would be nice if it had Macho Man on it, but it doesn't. But, yeah, they picked this up at Savers. It's pretty cool. That's going to be it for this. So, um, like, subscribe. Tell your friends. Tell your brother. Tell your mother. Um, look, subscribe, like. Uh, we're on Instagram at the Wrestling... No, we're not a Wrestling Baron. Actually, we are, we are the Wrestling Baron on Instagram. But we are also Wrestling with Reselling on Instagram. So, you can go check that out. We post a lot of the stuff over there. And that's going to be it for today's video, guys. Thanks for watching. Come back. Be safe. Wear your mask.